afternoon everyone let's go see what this storm's up to shall we just gonna have to pop into here and grab some fill that's all i seem to be doing lately is filling up a car Bear with me, I won't be a sec. Just whack some fuel in the car and then we'll be on our way. Just grab some fuel, everyone. How you doing? Hi, Stephen. Hi, Caroline. Oh, you got me at the beginning, Caroline. <laughs> Nasty weather. We've got rain, sort of snowy, sleety sort of weather at the moment. Hi, Donna. Let's go see what we can find. Pretty high winds. Learn things all over the place. Hi, Regina. How you doing? weird bloke. <laughs> Don't know what was going on there. As you can see, it's pretty nasty out here. Great Yarmouth.
Don't say you're driving. Oh, some bloke was swearing away. <laughs> the LZ weren't happy I pulled out of the petrol station in front of him. Some Gary boy. Didn't worry about that. Bella, how you doing? I know you keep saying come to Great Yarmouth, but there's not much for me to see at Great Yarmouth. There's no spots really where the, the water gets really bad. and maybe it'd be a, a spot again where I'd get rough. wet and it's definitely windy. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some waves. Pretty sure we're going to find some trees and stuff coming down. How you doing fishy? I was saying, Georgia, I can head your way, but I can't think of anywhere around Yarmouth where I can show any rough weather. I'm a front, don't seem to get the tides like the on the edges of Galston Pier and plus like you know places like that where it really gets stirred up in the lowest off to them areas. Yeah, Galston will get loads. Wind's picking up up your way, is it fishy? Yeah, it's definitely picking up here as well. See the storm moving across in front of me if you look up. 
top of the picture. You can probably see on the camera today, I'll give you a bigger view so you can see both sides of the road. You can see quite a bit more. Is we'll, um, we'll be going over the broads further down because we'll see if that's flooded as well. I wouldn't be surprised if that's all flooded out. And they're going over top of uh, Potterheim, so I'll be able to see if that's over the edges. It's touching the sides, but they ain't quite broken banks. Maybe lightly, but nothing too crazy. If you look at the trees and stuff, you can see us quite rough. Look out for any wheelie bins coming flying across the road and stuff like that. Or tree branches coming down. doing well around the area to clear all the roads and stuff with the big trees on them. straight down here instead of going right down ankle. We'll just see if the big broad's got a crazy wind on it. I can't go down any of the local beaches down to the left here because I can't get a signal down them. Doing beer, chasing the weather again. Get a bit of blue now. Now nah, we're doing green and yellow.
No, there's nothing against anyone. I just weren't going to add any more blues. I've got a fair bit of my channel now. But you're right, Stephen. Peter does come in a lot. And he's one of the main people that come in every day. If I'm coming out of the wind about this way, The big broad, oh, it's big trees right down here. Cool, big trees. Oh, the big broads, windy again. Gates are open today, There's bits of tree all over the place. It's going to be very windy again. I'll be careful where I park because I don't want nothing to land on me car. I thought that would be windier again. I think I'm just going to park right in the middle here and hope for the best. And we'll pop out here and almost oh, some Mexican geese down in front of us. Whoa, I can feel that's windy. That's pretty rough. All right, get ready for these crazy winds then, everyone. Let's go and have a look and see what we got, and then we'll move on to another location. Just thought I was going past this one, and that's normally quite rough. Got white caps on the Norfolk Broads, which is a bit crazy. <laughs> so let's go and have a look. I'm gonna get wet. Face, how you doing? Whoa. Big old winds again. Water's not as high as it was in the last storm. That's only because it's low tide. Back then here playing in the water, in the mud. I come dinners then. Chucking up foam then it's ideal look. <laughs> There's so much that's all stirring up. We've got proper waves coming in. And that for the Norfolk Broads is quite crazy. It's hard to even stand here <laughs> against the wind. Whoa, it's pretty rough. Any French geese? <laughs> Whoa. Robert Lawson, how you doing?
Well, it's very safe today, you know, you see the water. It's set slightly. But strange to have waves there. Proper waves coming in in the bushes down here, though. I think you'll find us going to get up pretty rough. I don't think it's 125 mile an hour, but that's certainly rough enough for me to struggle to stand there. This place is normally just flat, calm. It's a sailing boat up over there, look, it's normally just nice and flat, a gentle breeze. Certainly in at the moment. <laughs> you can actually fish around here. Look over here. You can see the platform down there. They go all around. And... Shame you can't get out there, but you can with a boat. Strange seeing these waves come in at the side here though, but how crystal clear is that water? Lovely. It's normally flat calm and crystal clear like that, but every now and again that calmed down and the wind drops for a minute or so. It's not 100 mile an hour, not at the moment. But you got to remember, I'm not on the coast, I'm on the broad. Wait until I get on the beaches. It's a lot rougher there. Yeah, you're probably right, probably is, probably is something like that. When that gust is a, a lot worse. Still well over the top of where it should be. For the broads. <laughs> well, it's had a worse weather, we'll be down the seafront. Well, that's me completely drenched. As usual. Oh, cameras and everything is completely soaked. That's not good. Hopefully they'll be okay. I am absolutely dripping. Couldn't get any wetter for Troid. <laughs> Sixty mile hour at Yarmouth, yep. Yeah. It's not that, it's the volume of time that the wind's been there, which will make the seas higher. God, I'm soaked. <laughs> I 
Oh, that'd be fun out there on the boat, wouldn't it? That'd be hard work. Yeah, I think we've got sort of 60, 60 to 70 mile an hour winds around on the sort of last off Yarmouth side. I think we're expecting some bigger winds up towards Cromer and down that way though, on this side. No, I haven't, I'm in my trainers. <laughs> if you want to see the state of me, I look like I've just been swimming. I'm absolutely drenched. Now I'm just trying to mind up wherever to go, sir. Galston Way or down the Walcott Way and places like that. Hi Joe Dutt, how you doing? Um, I've just come off the broads. That was a bit rough on there. Blow me away, I'm dripping wet. I'm just trying to decide where to go next. Cheers. <laughs> I'm absolutely soaked just for that time I was out of the car because it's raining so much and sleety and horrible. See the storms going this way. trees and stuff coming down but I think I know a few more spots where it's going to be fairly rough have to work out where I go because obviously I have to be careful of the wind and what direction it's going and stuff like that. Yep, you're right there Mr. Blueface. <laughs> Joe D, welcome to the channel. Just trying to get some sort of warmth going into the car so I can try and dry slowly. I'm already shivering and shaking. when I get to the next stop be exactly the same I get soaked again
1.5 road in and we'll be in Yarmouth. This road will be at the Yarmouth uh, Bang Racing Stadium. all this fake stuff always one weird out come in and start being silly in there Love this bit of road. <laughs> I'm just cruising today. Down here. If you look at undersides of the roads and stuff, there's a lot of trees down as well. Laying in the fields. The stadium's got all diggers and stuff in, I don't know what's going on there. They got some damage yesterday or uh, Friday. See the old trees up here float, blowing around. Have a look at the end of the Yarmouth uh, seafront. Whoa, look at all the water. There's plenty of water. Excuse my hands, I've just got to tighten up the camera mount a bit. Leo, how you doing mate? You missed some fun over the last few days of me chasing the storm about, finding some really rough weather, rough water, definitely worth a look back on the channel. Found 30, 40 foot sunken boats, crazy weather on the water so you can literally hardly stand up. We 
see how they will look again today and see what's happening. Oh, you have seen already, have you? <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit crazy. Well, the old windmills are flying around at a serious mile an hour. to walk across this heath and down to the beach. That's quite a long walk right there, so I'll drive to the end and we'll see if we can see anything off in there, see what the waves are like. I think they'll be a lot rougher down in Galston and on broads due to the way the wind's going. You can probably see the clouds going out and basically what it does if you're here it's flattened down the sea, it didn't really notch it up. Yeah, as I, as I was saying, you can see us, it's not really that rough. There ain't nothing to worry about, I don't know where you can see that. It's not that rough at all, like it's obviously got you know a good current going across, but there's no big waves or anything like that, nothing to worry about. So we'll, that's why I was saying Georgina that weren't really worth me walking down to the beach in that here. I know me spots and I know which way the wind's going to where I should go. I've been doing it many years. <laughs> Not so much on YouTube but I used to do it myself even before YouTube. So I'll go to them spots. And we'll get the crazy weather the way the wind's going. From a distance down here, that dog there looked like that lady was holding a cow. <laughs> I was thinking, what? <laughs> Worth a look, and that should keep Georgina happy. <laughs> She's been trying to get me to come to the other. Made a little look, but like I say, as the sea's quite flat there, really compared to where I can show you now. We'll be going through the traffic and stuff, and then we'll get to our next spot. Look at all this flooding. Further view I've got at the moment. Would 
you like it when I'm more zoomed in on just one side of the road. Secret Raven, how you doing? We're at Yarmouth at the moment, but we've been down to Norfolk Broads, down sort of Flagborough, Philby area. And that was pretty crazy rough down there. There's waves coming in where it's normally nice and flat calm. We're now heading over to Galston. Should get some big waves and stuff down there. And then we'll move on from there. Got plenty of spots I can think of. That I haven't been to recently. start moving along and keep checking them out. Nice that it stopped raining and I could just get out and show the wind and stuff. Oh, boats come adrift under the bridge there. Yeah? A couple of big boats drifting down the river. Let's see if I can get around there and show you. The weather's about the same. I should be able to show you some rougher stuff in a minute. Hi Leon, how you doing mate? It's not looking too bad there today, I don't think. You can see it's windy, but because that's a low tide, there's not a great deal happening with the waves. somewhere to park here for a sec, which I have, here will do, oh no, maybe not, <laughs> see that big sign on the building there, wheel clamps, 50 pound release, I don't really want that, bit of a waste of an empty car park, isn't it? pull up under here because I ain't going to be here for very long. Right, let's have a quick look. Oh. You look down under the bridge from there. 
well you can see that. It's a Herbert Woods boat. It's completely adrift. Can't really show it any better. It's obviously drifted down the river and it's stuck in the mud and wedge under there. Under the bridge. <laughs> No other way of getting close to it. Can't go over here. Literally can't get to it any other way. It's a shame, but it'd be nice to get that properly on camera. Bear with me, I'm trying my best. I think we see that a bit better. Get to any closer, but I think it's see the rest of the river here. It's fairly windy, but not nothing too crazy. And as you can see, that's right low tide, which is a shame. Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, shame about that. I can't get any closer to show it properly, but. I think you get the idea. It's a big old 40 foot or 60 foot boat. And it's trapped under the bridge. We'll see it as I was driving over the main bridge. <laughs> so it was lucky for me to just pop in there and have a look. we're going to find today as we're travelling about. some of the river and stuff as I go over here. Just give me wipes on the full so you get a better view. Shame it's low tide, it's not very wavy at all. On Friday when I come down to underneath this bridge we're now going over. The winds are 100 mile an hour plus. They're pretty rough. You want to see that video? That was done on Friday. That was the other storm. to the goals to then now. This is the next place down from the armor. Yeah, 
here it's a bit rough and <laughs> stopping us getting out fishing and stuff. But that'll soon go away and that'll be completely different. End of next month, month after that, it's just start to warm up a bit, shouldn't it? Need cheering up, Stephen, if you're dealing with things properly. Come on. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see you do that trip, though. Can't be quiet about anything, Stephen. You're terrible. <laughs> nope. Access only. Digging up a road. Tree down over there. Roundabout's all dug up. It's all happening right there, isn't it? <laughs> trying to get me wipers off but it's raining too much for me to turn them completely off. So let's get down to the pier and see what's happening down there. Should be rough down there. On the edge of the coast here. Be very surprised if it's not. We haven't really got the high tides or anything, but 
it still should be interesting to see. More closed roads. It's the trouble that everyone's still cleaning up from a damage from Friday's storm. <laughs> Gonna have to get even more soaked in a minute. And get out again. I'm only now starting to be able to feel my hands again. It's looking a bit windy. We're not gonna be able to tell properly until we get round there. Course and lighthouse in front of us. Well, we can get on there again, which is good. You get a really, really big high surge water wise. They shut these gates and you have to walk around the side. But they're letting cars on at the moment, so. Let's see what we got. Well, it's all flooded in the car park. Can't even park where I want to park. That's looking rough, anyway. So let's. Get parked up. I'd say it's not high tide, but it'll still be really interesting to see. It's always rough here on a southwesterly wind. There should be some huge waves. It's probably going to be really windy, so you won't be able to hear me too well, but you get to see some really good rough waves. So let's go and have a look. Time to get wet again. <laughs> Oh. Yep, that's definitely rough. That's definitely windy. So it's very low tide. If you look, the tide's going on like three ways. That should be coming up the beach. That's going across the beach back. Sideways, isn't it? Not onto the beach. Pull down a bit. Take a bit worse, a bit further out. So that's the dead end. So that's very low tide, so you can imagine what this is going to be like at high tide. Trouble is, high tide is like half past 10 tonight. This won't show a lot.
hope you can hear what I'm saying. Walking through deep water here, getting soaked. people there trying to fish. Unbelievable. You ain't gonna fish in that. <laughs> well you ain't gonna hold a lead on the bottom in that, let's put it that way.
Blairstown and just slash up in the pool. We're going to wait to get that way. the edge. Bear with me. <laughs> Just try and wipe all the camera lenses and stuff. Oh. Completely soaked right through now. <laughs> oh God. That's three days in a row now where I've been absolutely drenched right. Oh, I knew that'd be rough there. Just a shame that I weren't high tide as well. Oh, I can't feel my hands. <laughs> you feeling a bit seasick, are you, Pam? Oh, soaked front and back, all the way through. <laughs> the next destination. Oh, 
we'll do is while we're here, we'll just have a quick look at the river, but I reckon that'll be calm, but it's worth a look. Yeah, I thought so. It's quite calm. Got a bit of wind, but nothing to worry about. There are some big waves coming down the sides, but they're not too crazy. I'll see if I can show you a bit of rent, but you look on the other side over the how close I can get to this gap, you'll see the waves going up and down. Fairly big waves, or big swells, I should say. But that's not wavy on this side, it could be like the other side. And you can see they're going well up and down, you want to be in the water down there. As I look further out in the harbour there, twice as bad. I can't really get you to that spot. Can you see them over there? They're a bit bigger, aren't they? <laughs> Big old swells coming in. If you imagine if that's like that now, imagine what it's going to be like at high tide later on tonight. Because they're rolling in pretty big and the tide's right down. High tide is half past 10 tonight. So we're literally at low tide. And we've still got swells like that, so yep. Everywhere's going to be flooded later on. Just shame that's not lit up and I can show you in the dark. Right, next stop. I can think of another place that'll be rough. Still looking pretty good out there. Do you want to bring me a tent? <laughs> I can't stand it for high tide, don't I? High tide's at half ten tonight. After half five, you won't be able to see a thing. That'd be pitch black. She zoomed in. Yeah, I know, 10 p.m., yeah. But I don't know how I'm going to show anyone at that time of night. Because that would be pitch black. Which is a real shame. Because I've got some really good places up near me, like Chroma Pier. Places like that, where the waves will literally be coming over the top of the pier. If I can't show you, it's not worth me going down there to film it.
I've also got a video coming out on the channel tonight at half eight. So I've got to be there live for that for when people come in. It's quiet down there, is it, Pam? I'm sure you'll be expecting some stuff later. I think you're always getting it after midnight, if I remember right from what I was looking at. Rain's not giving up, it's keeping constant rain all the time, isn't it? Hi Barry, how you doing? You missed the first few marks. We've seen some big old waves at, on the broad stand down the side of Galston Pier. Some big swells on the river. about losing the signal. Just going for some black spots. So we're going to travel down to lower stuff now.
very wet on the roads as you can see, they're getting covered. Going to make everywhere flood. Good boy, how you doing? Next destination will be coming up soon. Sorry about the signal around there, it's a bit up and down. Should stay with us again now. As you can see by the trees and stuff, they're all shaking about. What bear? <laughs> Around here, there's a big broad. Literally just there. Yep, it's windy. It's wavy. <laughs> I think a lot of people have had the same idea as me. But we'll get in a space and have a look. That's pretty rough for broads. Am I going skinny dipping? <laughs> yeah. Now a few days ago I came here and when we had the other storm and the wind was going straight in my face here 
and the waves were coming up over the sides and that was really rough. Today we've got it going to the right. It's still really rough, but it's not coming over the edge. Oh, I was saying that, that is a bit down the bottom there. <laughs> the boats and stuff are all bouncing around. So let's jump out and... This pub here does nice food, does it, Caroline? Nice. Right, let's have a look and see what we got then. Get ready for some noise, because it's going to be windy. But obviously that's all I can do. <laughs> It's a bit rougher than Norfolk Road. You can see I was literally up on here yes. Um, Friday, coming up onto the car park on the high tide. If you want to see that video, have a look at my Friday storm video. Venice. Good. Slam the bottom. Good that land on the bottom. That's gonna take some getting back up. Really? I was just doing that. 
I was trying to get in that car there, which is not my car. <laughs> that one there's mine. <laughs> Wrong car. <laughs> Sorry, mate. The chap was coming out and seeing what I was doing. <laughs> oh, what a mistake. <laughs> Chap come out to see me, he's got a feet he's gonna have a go and say, What the hell are you doing trying to get in my car? <laughs> and he's got an identical car. That was a bit strange. <laughs> what a mistake. I've never done that before. You'll see it in a second though. Pull away. <laughs> I'm thinking very straight there. <laughs> that was a weird one. Next destination. <laughs> Can't believe I just done that. That was weird. Back on, I'm gonna go back down the coast down. It's not far up a road. Yeah, that was a bit of an oops, wasn't it? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I just saw a black Astra. It weren't even the same model as mine, this one's top of the range, whereas that was a base model. And I was just standing there pushing the alarm to get the central lock and to go off so I could get in it. And that weren't opening, and I was thinking, what? What's going on here? And then I realised, I was a couple of cars down. Old tree down there, look. <laughs> Massive oak tree. Look like out, landed on the grass and just laid along the grass and not the person's house. It could have been a lot worse if I went the other way. You can see all these trees now waving around. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought, Steve.
far now, just down the road here. We'll park up and get up onto the part I want to go to the prom. See a big windmill when I go in this corner, a wind turbine. Mr. Robert Lawson lived down this end. In Lastoft. There's a big turbine in front of you. I'm going to go round onto the last stop here today because the tide's way too low for that one, I think. But, let's see how we go to these spots I'm going to in a minute. See these flags are ripping around. To the right of us. Right next to the big old turbine now. It's literally just to my left here. do is I'm going to walk up these steps there in front of me and see what we got and then decide what part to go to. So we'll reverse up here, just park on the other track a bit. Definitely windy. If you look up there, there's a big old turbine. Sorry you're seeing the top of my holder there, but we're never about to get out anyway. So let's see what we got. Ooh. That's the turbine. I tried them.
massive waves. It's actually a pain to even try and stand up there <laughs> and actually talk and hold the phone, so. drive to the next one. trees and stuff all blown all over the place. I think after this one today that's probably going to be the end of the stormy stuff for a little while. Unless we get another storm coming obviously. Starting to lose light now, which is a bit of a pain. Let's see if we can do one more destination before we get to the no light stage.
well, it's not as crazy as I thought it was going to be at the moment. Still seeing some good stuff. Weird to see the waves going in three different directions and stuff like that, but and obviously the broads is really rough compared to what it normally would be. Got loads of rain as you can see. next weekend is it? Sounds good. Stay low for me. I want to get up the north north again and see what's happening down that end. Yeah, cheers, Stephen. I just read that properly. <laughs> How you doing, Malatias? I've already been down there. I've done Goulston Pier, I've done Alton Broads, I've done Flegborough. Um, we've had a look at the furthest easterly point, off the top of the steps there, along the rocks. Just at the, the light levels are no good for the high tides. Because obviously it'll be dark about half five. The high tides in most of the places at the moment are around half ten. Which is a shame. This crime up here would have been a good one tonight. It's got really high winds coming up that end later on tonight. It's not very lit up around that area, that's the trouble. Yeah, I'm fishing. How you doing, mate? Well, I won't be getting the rod today. Well, I need to be getting them out again soon.
in for that. We're hitting over 800 subs now on the car channel. Master Beta, how you doing mate? Yeah, they're not too bad at the moment. A bit more busy in Denning Lowestoft than I was in Lowestoft a little while ago in Galston. They're fairly good up here. And then working my way up to North Norfolk to see what's happening down there on leeches. I'm hoping I get up there before it get dark. Going past the arm of Tesco's, up towards the big old bridge. Still right down, see all the mud flats to the left. We'll get there now at some point and give it a fish. Want to weather sort of stuff out, and there's actually some fish there. It's not really a good time of year to go down there. It's not the sort of best place in the summer, in the warmer months. I've even seen people down there with spinners and catching as well. Quite surprising, really, seeing us really dirty water. Yeah, not dirty as in dirty, but dirty as in coloured.
the horses and cows and stuff in the fields getting soaked. <laughs> I suppose they're used to that. Stock bus. Boy, Sammy, mate, how you doing? You missed a lot of it. I'm trying to get to another spot before it gets dark. Rough up there, is it? Because the wind across here is pretty rough. again. All they seem to be doing is having to visit power stations. Yeah, cheers Stephen. <laughs> Off train, it looks like. See the headlights on it? Now going past. No one answered me earlier whether you like this view better. Then the one side of the road view or the both side of the road view. Which one do you think is better? I normally have it zoomed in. Like, you know, on one side like that. Well, I can't even do it from there. But I'm trying a different angle today. I'll show on both sides. It's a bit of a different setup.
the knee grows up, what? <laughs> Wipers. They get covered. No need to see where I'm going. Hold there now, are you standing? Well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? get wet as long as I don't get ill. I've been wet, cold, hot, wet, cold, hot, wet, cold, hot for the last three days now. So it's probably time to get a rest after this one. I think the storm will be gone anyway. A little bit rough under the bridge there, but nothing to worry about. You must better see all these trees bending over and flapping around. And I think that's definitely windier up the North Norfolk side. The storm's more on the coast up near my way, I think. We're about to find out that one when I get out there. I 
road down that way now, so there's probably a tree down. That's the trouble, a lot of the roads are shut because the trees are down. Starting to slightly warm up a little bit now, but I'm still wet. Definitely becoming big puddles on the roads and stuff. Come on, stay light a little bit longer. <laughs> trying to get up there for you, but... As I seem to get further this way, I seem to be getting rougher. Rain till nine. Yeah, here, here. Probably right there, Pam. Oh, fair enough, Stephen. I know it's going to be rough down there, Cramer Pier tonight. From what I was looking at, I need to be up there around half past ten at night, but that'll be so dark. There'll be little lights on the pier, but I won't be able to show in the water and stuff.
Yeah, it's just a bit further up the coast. All crabs. <laughs> The last thing to worry about. Back over the top of Paul Hyam Bridge. Definitely gone over the sides. back down that way but this is as quick as I can go along here because the camera's all the way along we might just hold the light for a little bit longer Thumbs up, be nice if we get to 50. Watching, if you could please hit the old thumbs up button for me, show you like the video, if you like what I do on the channel, and please consider subscribing if you're not already. So, this one is a bit of a drive away, but. Troy Carp, how you doing mate? I have been to Flagborough Down on the big broad, really windy there Could hardly stand up And then I went off to Great Yarmouth Had a little look along there Then I went down to Goulston And then I went across on to Alton Broads then I went over to Lowestoft and then started heading back this way and I'm now my way up North Norfolk. We're heading down to the beach, hopefully I'm going to get there before it gets dark. It's going to be a close one but I think I'll just make it. We'll see what the waves are like down there.
beat the clock. <laughs> yes, yeah, good one, Pam. I'll tell you what, Pam, you come in quite a lot, so I'm going to change you over to blue. So you're now a moderator on my channel. So welcome to the blues. Going past Sutton Stafe, and they're coming up to Stullum Boatyards. We'll go out the other side, turn right, follow that road down, and we'll be coming on. That's the road down to the coast. No problem, Pam. You come in to support and you join in with all the fun and everything else, so I appreciate that. Getting dark, come on, cars out of the way. I've done a lot of miles over the last three days, I know that. Nearly 500. Tree in the road, that. and Pam. <laughs> How are you doing Steve? It's not crazy crazy but we've had some fun. See, but a little of the traffic lights are gone out. I'm gonna stop work. Hey, do a map. I'm gonna say there's a lot of people coming in, but I've already been to about five destinations, all scattered all over the place. Suffolk to Norfolk. We're heading down towards the beach right now and we're trying to get there before dark. Which we should do, just about.
brain didn't really want to stop that. Yeah, this way. I was going to say a big castle, it's not a church. <laughs> Puddles are ripping the car to the side. be big and wavy. How are you doing? We're just trying to race down to the beach here to see if we can see the waves before it gets dark. We've been out to five or six other different places already. Seen some big old waves. Two people on there, there's a camper on there. There's two campers on there actually, but look at that. Let's see what we got. Well, it's not looking too rough at all, to be honest. No. Hardly anything whatsoever. 
you can see there. That's windy, I can feel the wind. But that's coming across and flattening the sea off instead of roughing that up. Which is a shame, you could probably hear the wind and feel the wind shaking the car. But it's certainly not rough on the beach. That is dead low tide. Cool, storm is blowing the car about. Really windy, but as I say, it's not doing nothing to the sea. That was a lot worse than that, and the last storm we come down here on Friday, these waves were huge. The like I said, the wind's going, it's changed around and gone the other way, but it looks things. So what they forecast is not what we got. That's almost flat calm because the wind's going against the waves, if that makes sense. So it's flattening it right down. Which is a shame. That would have been a good place to end the live at before it got dark. There ain't really much I can do about that. Yeah, very calm, Donna. The wind's howling from behind me. But going out to sea, so it's just flattening all the waves and everything down. It's the wrong wind. Still pouring with rain. That's not very nice to say. Stephen, there's loads of ladies in the chat. So yeah, that's not too exciting, that one, is it really? So if you've only just come in, you'd be better off going to the beginning and um, looking at the other stuff we've done, because this one's not very exciting. <laughs> and it's getting dark as we speak, so I ain't going to be able to go anymore. So I think what I'm going to do is end that one there. I've got a little bit of work I've got to do anyway. Um, uploading wires and making thumbnails and all that sort of stuff so we could always do that while I'm here <laughs> is it being a pain Donna That's no, not warm, Steve. It's freezing. We've only got a couple of degrees. It's pouring with rain. And the wind that's behind me is, just, I would guess, somewhere sort of 60, 70 mile an hour at the moment. It's shaking the car all over the place. But not. Let me have a look. Yeah, I'm not going to get out of there this time. I've been out all the other times and all the other places I've been. It's absolutely pouring with rain. 
all the camera equipment and everything's all soaked already. I'm absolutely drenched to the skin. So I'm not going to get out this time. Like I say, there's not a lot to see. Got a few waves coming in, but the wind's coming from behind me, which is just flattening the sea down. I'm soaked and serves my seat and everything in the car. That's the trouble. <laughs> Where am I? Down at Walcott Bacton. If I go another half a mile sort of to the left, I'll be in Bacton. If I go half a mile to the right, I'll be in Ossend. I'll send as well. I've done that sea fishing video and um, Stephen come down to see me. So we got 46 thumbs up. We didn't quite make the 50. But not complaining. It's better than nothing. Obviously. <laughs> I don't know if you can be timed out, actually, Stephen, because you're a member. You're green. Even if I take you off a of blue, you're still a member. The only way you could do that, Donna, is if you were green. You'd have to join the members club. <laughs> nah, that's fair enough. I don't expect people to join up. That's only if they want to. We're getting a few members on there now. I think we've got 15 now on the members club. So that's pretty cool. But the, the low tier one's only, what, just over a pound a week. That's not a lot. But a lot of people are joining up the bigger ones now. It's less than a cup of coffee if you... Stop at a service as well. <laughs> Hello again, Robert. We're at Walcott. And the wind's howling behind us, but flattening the sea off. So it's not giving us big waves. Wrong wind. So, like I say, everyone, I've got a few bits and pieces I need to do. So, I think that's time to sign this one off. I know it hasn't been a long one the last couple of days. I think the last two were, what, seven hours and nine hours, weren't they? Something like that. I can see that's getting a lot rougher down to my left, so I think the storm's coming this way. If it does end up getting crazy and there's stuff to see, then I'll bring you back on. But I think it's going to be way after dark before it kicks in that bad down here. And the wind swings around. Uh, I just see that question coming, um, Caroline. 
if you donate to the channel for a super chat, then YouTube takes some of that money, like nearly half. If you donate through the PayPal, then PayPal will just take a little charge for donating through, which I think is about a pound. And the channel gets what you've donated, if that makes sense. I think if I ask Stephen, he'll show you the PayPal link. And you can put it on there. If you can put the PayPal up for me, please, Stephen. Caroline Bell is trying to do a donation, but she don't want half of it taken away by YouTube. Which a lot of people don't like. Or the other thing you could do, Caroline, if you wanted to, which is just over a pound a week on the low tier or one of the other tiers or a little bit higher. Uh, you could join the members team, which Stephen's just put up the link for, where it says join members link. I think it's about £1.20 a week, something like that. Or you can join a higher one, some are £20, some are 40 some are higher, depending on what tier you want to go for. I appreciate anything towards the channel, the feel and travelling bait and time off work and all that sort of stuff. And obviously the more help I get like that, the more time I'll be able to have off work and do more of these sort of things. Yeah, I appreciate that, Caroline. So the best way to do it would be through the PayPal link. Really appreciate that, and like I say, every little bit helps. I sort of get a 50-50, and I get a fair few people like doing the Super Chats. Because they advertise their channel as well as like help with our channel. And then sort of the other half of people do it through the PayPal. Because they want the channel to get all of the money and they can go out more. She's talking to me in messages in the background, Stephen. I'm seeing them come up as I'm on the live. They're coming up over the top on Messenger. There she is. <laughs> Can you see the PayPal link on there now, Caroline? Let me know if that's working or not working. Oh, look, if I put my lights on, they beam up in the air. A bit weird. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's definitely not good. Um, is Miss Wartside still in there? Are you in there anyway, hun? Maybe the link's not linking or something like that. Maybe it need to be done direct from a proper, you know, from an actual link. It's up in blue so you can click on it.
you drop Joe a message, Stephen, she'll be able to do it from the from that end on the PC and just make sure it's working properly. The other way to do it, Caroline, is if you're on the PC, if you go onto my actual page on my you know, on the actual Wartside website. Not website, but Wartside page. You'll be able to um, click on the blue tab from there along the top of the bar. There you go, Miss Watts Idol. Let's give you a direct if that will help you. Joe's just put it up in there, the actual link, the actual proper PayPal. That will take you straight to it. That normally works, I normally check it during the week and stuff and that normally comes up. But obviously something's not at the moment. There you go, they're saying that the one in the description works. Sure, I can't show you much at the moment because it's pitch black now. <laughs> I don't really want to shut down when someone's trying to help me with the channel. And I know you like what we do, Caroline, when I'm out on the boat and walking around the broads and stuff like that. Yeah, it must be because... Uh, YouTube might have stopped it from being pasted in the chat. Might be their way of stopping it. So you have to use their super chat, but you can do it on the outside. Like I say, Joe's put the actual address up. So you can go directly from there. What most people do is do that, then click on um, friends and family. That's the quickest way to do it. No, I reckon that's YouTube stopping the links. Because they didn't get their cut out of that then, do they, you see? If you go in from the link what Joe put up, or we'll actually just put that address in PayPal. That'll go straight to it. Or you can go into the donate way from the actual channel page. Definitely getting rougher. Wind's getting rougher. Rain's getting heavier. I don't know if you can hear it. That ain't going to work if you donate zero because I ain't got nothing to donate. Is it? You have to at least put a penny on it. You send a penny through, you'll be able to see if it work.
Oh, I don't know if you can hear that rain, but it's getting nasty. That's actually hail by the looks of it. Or sleety sort of hail. I'm trying to show up my headlights, look at that. That is nasty. <laughs> Look at that game when we were here 15 minutes ago. Storm's coming along now, definitely. It's getting rougher and rougher. Yeah, it's on the chat that it's not working. That's working from the main page. You just go to Waterside Fishing Adventures on YouTube and go up onto the main page. It's up in the top corner on the PC. Or if you're on your phone, you'd have to go into the, into the description and do it that way. Are you having any luck, Caroline, or are you not there anymore? <laughs> That's becoming pretty crazy out there now. We oh, went this here a little while ago. Look at that. <laughs> Hope you can hear me with this clunking on the roof. Yeah, nice one, Stephen. Just not sure if Caroline's getting to where she wanted to get to. Sorry, you can't see much, but there's not really much I can do now. <laughs> it's pretty rough. It's pitch black. It's hammering down on the car. It's shaking all over the place. I did say on the weather that it's going to get a lot worse by 10 o'clock. Look at that. <laughs> Nasty. That's definitely look. I ain't going out there in that, put it that way. The camera went last five minutes. And I'm already drenched. I mean, I will if you really, really want me to, but you ain't gonna see nothing anyway. So it's not really going to help, was it? Ooh. 
<laughs> Come out wind and rain. I don't know what I sound like on the camera, but it's nasty here. Really bad. Hi Tracy, how you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. It's really windy and really hammering down with rain, but I've not got no trees or nothing around me where I am at the moment. There's a load of caravans behind me, but hopefully they're not going to take off. We're just trying to help Caroline put a donation onto the channel at the moment. I'm not sure how she's getting on. Nice one, Stephen. Cars rocking all over the place. <laughs> So I was going to shut this one down once it got dark, but I'm just trying to help Caroline. Or well, hopefully Joe is now. Yeah. But he might feel more comfortable there, Stephen, you never know. He'll have people sort of, you know, on the hour checking on him and stuff like that. And it's probably groups to do things and stuff like that, you know. It might actually be better. That's not a black screen, Donna. Let's look. <laughs> I can't show anything else. It's pitch black, yeah? We've got a nasty storm going over. I've got my headlights on like that, look. That's main beam. That's really windy, really raining. I'm trying to think where I can go where there's some lights. So I was going to shut down, but I'm just trying to help Caroline. Yeah, it's pretty rough, Donna. I look good, doesn't it? <laughs> Woo -hoo! Even the wipers on full, I can't. That's rough. <laughs> Without the wipers on, obviously, as you can't see a lot. You can see me this way. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> That's all good fun. I'm in the car at the moment, so I'm not going to walk around in that because you won't be able to see me. If it was daytime, I might have done. So I was going to shut down once it got dark, but I'm just trying to help Caroline. She wanted to put a donation on. So I'm just trying to help her do that. And then I can't really show anymore. Do better the other way. There you go. 
That is pretty crazy, look at that. That's what you call raining. Fancy a bit of fishing then, Stephen? Sit down there and that'd be lovely. It's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> That's so much rain, it looked like someone's just pouring water down, doesn't it? Hope Martin Ness is okay. Oh, I ain't seen it for a little while actually, to be honest. I reckon he'll turn up on my video later, probably. He normally comes in on my videos. Get any more rain than that if you tried. How you doing, Beverly? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just windy and rainy. There's nothing that should fly up and make the car take off or anything. <laughs> I hope not, anyway. Yeah, you have a nice roach in that one, Stephen, but I beat you on that one. You'll see when you see the video. I had a lot of big fish in that video. That's a fishing video, Donna. It's only a short one, it's only half an hour. But I do catch a lot of good fish. I think I have over 150, so if you go on my channel, Donna, it's already scheduled. I put it on yesterday, ready to ready to go. That's alright, no problem. Yeah, it's a bit rough, isn't it, Cherie? <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but the waves are actually starting to kick up a bit now because the wind's going the other way. I'll try and face you down towards them. It's not going to focus because it's raining so hard. They're not huge, but they're bigger than they were earlier. You must be able to hear that rain just thumping on the car. It's constant. Hey, we hit the 50 thumbs up. Cheers, everybody. Rain's starting to settle down a little bit now. That was crazy. Yeah, cheers for coming in, Pam. I'm about to shut down anyway. But I appreciate you coming in.
Right, everyone, do you want me to leave it running for a little bit or should I shut down? I think it's time to shut down. I've got a few other bits to do on the on the apps and stuff, so. Cheers, Ray. I say you're coming to the end, really. I went to five places. No, six, I think, before I came here in the daytime. If you want to see it properly, it'll be worth going back to the beginning. Sounds good, Stephen. Come at rain again. The heavier stuff. Yeah, no problem, Tari. I've been all over the place. I've literally been Lowestoft, Galston, Yarmouth, down the Broads. I've been all over the place. We just ran out of light. Once I come off here, that will upload into a video, and you better watch from the beginning if you want to. I think people are liking seeing this rain. Light show. Yeah, and I'm losing it. If there was lightning and stuff going across, then I'd be getting it, but. Can do if you want me to, Donna, but you won't be able to see anything. I've got no lights enough with me either. Yeah, that's the thing, I don't want to mess the camera up too much, it's already been soaked. I'm already wet. <laughs> Not sure at the moment, Sammy, because obviously this weather stays on my coast pretty much through the winter. And February is the worst month for sea fishing where I am anyway. So I would probably say next month.
trouble is now the river's going to shut down which is annoying there's only a few you can go to after that which you have to trout fish on which I do do when I get in the river tass and stuff and obviously if you accidentally catch a chub or a roach or dace or anything like that then that doesn't matter but as long as you're not actually going for them you can still actually fish there so we'll go down there after some big trout Yeah, definitely, Sammy. Right, everyone. So I think Caroline is gone or she's talking to Joe or something like that. So we'll go from there with that and um, I'm going to shut down and I'll see you all again at about half eight. And we got a fishing video going up. So I have over 150 fish on that video. So it's a good video. And it's only 30 minutes long. So it's constantly fish, 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 fish. I didn't fancy doing a live that day so I could concentrate on my fishing a bit more and that worked out really well so I'll see everyone a bit later on and I'll get on with what I'm doing I've got some stuff to sort out on both channels and then I'm going to get back have a nice hot drink something to eat and then I'll be on the premiere with everyone else so I'll see you all soon Thanks for coming in. See you all soon. Hopefully I'll see you at half eight with the fishing video. Bye bye for now. If there's anyone in there hitting it, the thumbs up, it'd be nice if we could just get to 55 as we're going out. If not, like I say, I'll see you all soon. I'll go over unit instead then, Stephen. Either way, I'm going to get a hot drink. <laughs>